All right, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to my channel. And I'm gonna, I'm about to show you guys my new 1910 Peerless geyser that I finished just last night around midnight. So here I'm about to show you right here is a. This is the Peerless geyser I told you guys I was gonna redesign, and here it is. So it's a lot more different than when I first built it, if you guys remember. And um, I changed a ton. I redid the cab and I actually redid the tire engine. So this is it, this is a two si two cylinder in real life, and I actually just had to change something on this piece right here. I had a lot larger piece that was about um and yeah, this wide maybe, and uh, I had to change that, and uh, now it. Turns, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna turn this right here and it'll actually turn the flywheel right here, you guys. That's actually really neat. Now, uh, you guys can see that I'm turning this right here, it'll actually turn, turn the entire flywheel. And I actually like that much better now that I fixed it. And uh, these are normally called bunkers right here, but. For some whatever reason in real life they don't use them for bunkers instead the coal is stored basically down here I don't know if you guys can see but it's got the steps in each side because this because usually on two cylinder steam engines they have the steps on each side um people go on this ladder to, to like work on the engine um to like get it running in the morning um so that's that, and uh, I'm actually gonna walk around it instead of turning it, so. So, um, it's just, I just like how I basically changed it, and uh, I cannot believe how nice it is, though, how. So, I just decided that I put it up today while it's nice, and. I'll have to find a old a picture of the first peerless that I did, but I don't know if you guys can really tell a difference though because I've done so much to it, but so yeah, that's basically what it looks like. I finished this build just like the middle of the night almost. It was like around eleven thirty or so when I finished it, so yeah, it's I think it's worth building this new one and I think the next one I'm gonna be basically redesigning like half of the steam tractors that I've done so yeah so um this is it's about it for this video and uh it'll it does a uh, 35 on the drawbar 120 on the belt pulley in real life and look this is just so original to me I don't know if you guys have seen a a peerless steam engine in real life, but this is a good example of what they look like because I've done so much work to it. So, so yes, that's about it for this video. I think my next one is gonna be the Avery steam engine, and um, that one might be a bit more challenging to me to make, but I'm trying to do a best job on these as I can. And I hope you guys enjoyed this peerless steam engine. It was a challenge to me to make, and I could I wanted to have finished by the middle, la like the middle of last week, but I was gonna finish it like Saturday night or Sunday, but I just started not feeling well. But I'm all okay now and back to normal, so I just decided I put it up today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe and like and have a great day.